the biggest issues with uncontrolled anger to be a happier and less angry person. We all get angry at some point in life. Anger is a natural part of us that can stem from defensive correction toward what is just or from one's own pride slash principles. To be angry is neither good nor evil, but can lean in the direction of one of these two viewpoints depending on the reaction shown during the situation. Anger is an emotion that is strongly expressed throughout mankind that internally compels us to act out in ways that can be illogical or overbearing toward others. One of the biggest issues with uncontrolled anger is that it causes the person and those around him or her to be unhappy, unresponsive to reason, unwise, hotly, foolhardy, etc. Everyone has their reasons to be angry about something. However, to successfully understand how to be happy, part of that comes from staying away from silly problems and discarding unnecessary anger. By dwelling on rage-filled emotions, a person would be unable to deal with issues in their life in an intelligent manner. In the Bible, one of the many quotes that discuss this topic basically says that a person should be slow to anger and quick to listen. Why does it say this? If a person is always belligerent, or overly passive during a conversation to where one side is not listening to the other, then nothing will be learned and whatever is being said will no longer be spoken of out of kindness or wisdom. Another issue with anger is that it makes a person more likely to say and do things they may not have done under calmer circumstances. For example, we all know that person in our life, if not ourselves, that is usually peaceful about everything. The thing is, when this type of person gets truly angry about something, they may show a side of themselves that you never knew they had. People like to say that the truth comes out when you're angry, so your actions during that time shows your true feelings. This is not always the case, and if anything, it's less true than is. When people bicker or argue about topics in a heated fashion, things will be said that are based on facts, but may also be grounded on what is untrue to win the debate. I personally know people all throughout my life that use anger as a source of persuasion to get false points across. This only confuses other people who are listening, and it causes the argumentative individual to become prideful in things they do not know much about. Anger and frustration can also lead a person down a self-righteous path. Sometimes in life, things can happen to you that makes you feel this type of thinking is correct. By avoiding the cause or never allowing that thing that caused you pain in the past to ever happen again may lead you to picking up a false persona that causes you to do things that you know is not right, but at least will keep you from ever feeling that depressing pain again. A few examples of this can be a kid or even a grown person who becomes a bully to never be the one picked on ever again. A man or a woman striving toward wealth and power so they will never be called poor or a nobody ever again. And a boy or girl who makes their bodies into something that looks great to the world so they will not have any reason to feel insecure about themselves physically ever again. These things can seem like something that is good to strive for from one deep standpoint. Though, overall this mindset is flawed because of where it came from. Why become a bully when you did not like being bullied yourself? Why strive toward wealth using anger caused by horrible people, which in turn has corrupted your good sense of judgment? Why make your bodies into what the world says is the most attractive when you should just worry about what you want your body to look like for yourself and possibly for your future partner? P.S. Your future partner will love you for you. Now. Looking at it like this, I can make sense of when the Bible says you should refrain from being an angry person since it's more likely to lead you or someone else toward evil deeds. When evil is done to you, it naturally corrupts your personality. People will tell you that this is a part of life you must accept and grow from it. This is true to an extent, 
but do not let that corruption change what you know is right and lead you down a path that makes you no better than the people who treated you wrongly. If you want to live a happier and less angry life, I can say from experience, you must stop listening to other people's negative emotions in life and find other positive substitutes. Do not dwell and abstract about the issues you are facing, but look for and thank God for the good you have. Do not be argumentative with people in a way that leads to anger and unwise discussions. Do not associate yourself with people who are not trying to seek the truth in life and only want negative quarrel among friends. Do not believe the only goal in life is just to have fun. And stay away from social media outlooks or video games that can cause you to be unnaturally angry about anything. Also, if you're a believer or not in God, I'd still say give the Bible a shot by studying the stories and messages in it. Going to church and looking up Christian videos online are a great start. If people agree with the mindset that I present in my videos, then I must give credit to where credit is due. The Bible gave me this perspective and truth. Being purely happy and perfectly angerless is possible. Truth and the Word of God through the Bible are the first steps that I believe one should follow and take to start deciphering these mysteries in life. Giving in to anger ultimately leads toward problems due to man's imperfections. By striving to stay positive and peaceful during all circumstances in life will reveal to you one of the primary ways people can start to live a happier and less angry existence.